I got my pencil. Give me something to write on. Whoa! Today's shirt is about the only dating advice I am qualified to give. So there's that. Also, I got to add a shopco. And someday, I'll be sitting with my grandkids and I'll be like, you know, once upon a time, Shopco Optical was actually a whole store. And they sold everything. Like, no, they didn't. There's only Walmart now. Walmart and Amazon, there are no other stores. Ugh, that's a bleak future. But it's not a bleak spot of Friday, and it is the spot of Friday portion of the show. So, yes, we do have 20 songs. There's a full 100 this week, so we have well, a full 100 to go through. So, let's get things going. The first song happens to be by Lady Gaga with Black Pink. It's Sour Candy. Yeah, this is really good. Her new album, Chromatica, is out today. I can't wait to hear the rest of it. There are a couple of her tracks from Chromatica on here this week, so we'll get to those in due time. But yeah, for the first one, this is good. The Blackpink thing's a nice addition. Yeah, it's going to be a good album. Up next, Juice World, Trippy Red with Tell Me You Love Me. Boy, it is It's quite a thing to hear a 21-year-old who passed away on a posthumous song singing Tell Me You Love Me and It Will All Be Okay. It's just a... Uh, that's a gut punch, but this is actually a really good song. I don't know if this will be his swan song on the charts, but if it is, it'd be a really good one to go out on. This is a legit great song. Up next, Rosalia with Travis Scott. It's TKN. TKN421, why aren't you at your post? Oh, it's TK421, my bad. Ooh, this is an interesting one. She sings in Spanish, but he raps the part in English. I kind of like it. I, you know, I'm going to call this one great. we got three for three so far. So far, New Music Friday, the last one of May, has knocked the first three out of the park. And the next one features Kim Petras, and that's a good sign. It's Kygo and Kim Petras with Broken Glass. Uh, nothing pains me more than not putting a Kim Petras song in great. But I'm afraid this is just good. It's one of Kygo's electronic songs, but it's the slower electronic songs in. You know, if you're going to have an electronic song, in my opinion, you might as well just go all out. Thump it! Drop the beat! Do the whole thing. I mean, this isn't bad, but I don't know. It's good. I was really hoping for great, though. Anyway, up next, some Little Yachty with Tierra Whack and ASAP Rocky and TD. TD Ameritrade? Touchdown? Uh, Travis Darno of the Tampa Bay Rays? It's... Yeah, you know, the first minute I was going to say mediocre, but then the second minute kind of bumped it up to okay, and that's kind of where it's leveled out. So we'll leave it at okay. Up next, let go from D Smoke and Sir. It's long. It's R&B. It's, it's kind of mediocre. I knew we had to break that category eventually. We still haven't broken the bad section, so that's good. Up next, Alec Benjamin will try to avoid that with Match in the Rain. This sounds like a song that was focus tested. I don't mean that in a good way. It's okay. But it sounds like it's okay on purpose. Like, it could have been good or great, but, you know. They got to okay, and they're like, eh, you can knock off for the day. I dropped the pen. I'll pick that up while, oh, what the hell is this? Okay, first we have Diplo. Then we have Young Thug. Then we have Thomas Rhett. It's called Dance With Me. I'll give Diplo credit. He found a way to get Thomas Rhett into an okay section of my Spot of Friday business. Because I'm not a big Thomas Rhett guy, but he sounds like just another no-name white guy singing on this track. So, could have just well been anybody. So, yeah, it's okay. It's from the new Diplo presents Thomas Wesley Chapter 1 Snake Oil, which is kind of his cowboy project, even though most of the songs I've heard aren't really cowboy-y. I don't know. Up next, Alligati and Running On My Mind. He had a song that was a hit not too long ago, and this one, yeah, it's good. Might get him another one. I like it. It's good. We'll give it a good. Up next, we have No Rome with Biba Doobie. They did the make cup coffee for your head uh, part of that song. Anyway, here's uh, her uh, Hurry Home. It's okay. It's not going to be a TikTok thing like uh, a cup of coffee for your head was. 
whatever that song is called. I don't even remember. But everybody remembers the cup of coffee for your head part, but yeah. It's good, but not that good. But, you know, it's okay. Up next, a little more Lady Gaga from Chromatica and Free Woman. She doesn't look like a free woman on the album cover. It looks like quite the contraption she's in. It's not as good as the Blackpink song she was in earlier, Sour Candy, but it's good. I mean, it's not great. It's good. So it still bodes well for the album. Because all the other songs I've heard off of it are pretty good. So It's got 16 tracks, but it's only 43 minutes. So they're all short and punchy. As Howard Stern once described Bon Jovi, Don't bore us, get to the chorus. One of those kind of albums. Up next, Tones and I. She of Dance Monkey fame. And Ur so f***ing cool. And she used Asterix. I like this a lot. I liked her EP. I love Dance Monkey. That was such a catchy song. And this one? I'm not sure how they're going to radio edit it. But then again, is radio really that uh, big? I mean, for country radio, it's still a pretty big deal. But for pop, it's um, losing its... Yeah. I mean, if this gets big on TikTok, I mean, they'll obviously make a radio version, but that doesn't seem to be the priority as much as it used to be. So, yeah, this is pretty great. Anuel A.A. and Enrique Iglesias. Now, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Here's a football and rumba. Or as, you know, the Americans might call it, soccer and uh, lambada. Or, I don't know. Again, I am not a Spanish speaker. I can count to ten. I can say what's happening. I can say beer or library. I learned library from community biblioteca. Um, this does not have any of those words, so I don't know what they're talking. I know they're talking about football and rumba, and it's okay. I mean, if you can understand it, you'll probably enjoy it more. But you don't have to. I mean, it's okay. Up next, Gucci Mane, little baby, and both sides. I'm not a huge Gucci Mane guy, but yeah, it's all right. It's okay. We'll put you in the okay section. Up next, Six Lack and ATL Freestyle. All right. It's pretty good. We've got like a smooth groove. You just It's hard to tell where the song is going to go lyrically because it's a freestyle, and I like that. It's very unpredictable, so I'm enjoying it. It's good. Up next, Galatinus, Shipwreck, and Pink Sweats, and Only a Fool. This has got that frustrating pop song thing where during the verse it's kind of a steady, moderately up-tempo beat. But when the chorus comes in, it's just thump 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 and gets all up-tempo. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, do that. But then it doesn't do that. As soon as the verse, the chorus is over and you get back to the verse, they slow it back down again. It's like, ugh, why you gotta do that? See, now the chorus just kicked in. I'm like, yeah, or was this the whole song? So, I'm going to put that into okay, because verse is mediocre, chorus good, makes it okay. Up next, Quinn, XCII, and Logic, a letter to my younger self. Oh, oh dear. Oh, letter, my younger self would be, man, shook to if you got a letter from older self. All right. This is great. Lo I enjoy Logic's work. Quinn, XCII. Yeah, it's all right. 92, I think that's the number 92, is C, 42. I don't remember. I remember my numerals are a little iffy. No, I think uh, C would be, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, C's 100, so it would be 92. It's all right. It's good. Actually, it's great. I put this in the great file. It's great. Up next, Oliver Tree, an artist who I've heard a little bit of and really liked what I've heard so far. This one's called Bury Me Alive. This has a definite vibe of like a late 80s, early 90s hip-hop song. That was somebody trying to get on the radio kind of sound to it. But I mean that in a good way, not like the, I don't know. It's hard to say. Sometimes I say these things and I'm like, I have to clarify if I mean it in a good way or a bad way. Because I could say that and you might take that in a bad way. It's like, oh, it sounds like Vanilla Ice or something. I mean, Vanilla Ice for his time was fine, I guess. But what I'm trying to say is I like how it sounds. Kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what were they called? They had, uh. Pop Goes the Weasel. Is that third base? Derek's a dialect? Yeah, I think it was third base. It kind of reminds me a little of third base. So, pop, pop, pop this in your headphones, your headphones. Up next, Jack Larson and Dog Eat. Usually it's Dog Eat Dog, but I guess the dog isn't sure what it's eating. Much like the dog food I recently bought for the dog in my house. See, um, this is very mediocre. 
I'm not sure I want to finish it even though it's in my bowl. And wrapping up the day is Freddie Gibbs in The Alchemist and Tyler the Creator with something to rap about. I'm gonna go okay. I could have gone mediocre on this, but... I really like the background they chose. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable with okay on this. Although I'd be just as comfortable with an instrumental version. I don't know. Rapping's okay. I mean, some, you either like these guys or you don't. And I'm kind of lean don't, but I'm not against hearing something. But yeah, the music's solid. So we'll go with that. And there you go. We actually had six great songs on... Usually we have six for the week and already got up to six on Friday. This is going to be a good week. We had four goods, eight okays, two mediocres, no bads. So, yeah. So far, so good. On a spot of Friday. Let's see how things go on a spot of Saturday. Spot of tomorrow.